rebel of the Monday. I'ma be the king of them, sipping on that Jameson party. It will never end. You gon' wanna bring your friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Na, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Na, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Na, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Light the split, take a rip. We gon' dance till the morning come. Light the split, take a rip. We gon' dance till the morning come. Said I'm ready, I'm ready, got my income coming steady. My pocket hands full, my bag is feeling heavy. When I get my dough, my paper, my petty, and my burn through the money like the ties on the shed, you know. I strike while I irons, I earned everything I got. Gotta buy a big house in a prime spot. Make it rain like a tropical storm, top of my game. Uh, you don't wanna bring on the wall. Let's go one day. When I have a lot of money, I'ma be the king of them. Yeah, should wait for myself on a taxi to tune up. Where is my bro? Better get find him. Na 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 na. Yeah yeah. Say oh oh oh. Na 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 na. Oh oh oh. Kings and queens, Lord, we taking over this entire block. One love, where why? Hey. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kelly Roots, listen. Something about slipping out of the radar and I'm gone. Whoa, oh, oh. oh. Cause I need a break from the days that are tripping in my soul Oh, oh, oh And I don't need a reason to tell you why I'm leaving Take me to paradise So we're at our, um, we Sledgemere Chalet for the night and, um, gonna get our gear squared away here I'll introduce you to the boys and then pretty much, um, we're gonna Camp down here for the night and then tomorrow it's on six hour walk. So. Yep. Well, here we are team, settling in for what to be a very cold evening. We've got to, I'll just introduce to the boys here. This is Mark Sand right here and that's Sam O'Day down there. So those are going to be our compadres for the trip. You know that fella from my last South Island trip. Here he is waving out, giving him the one finger salute. But um, we're just trying to get our eyeballs dialed in and uh, Find out what the target species look like, and then get our uh, get our game on for tomorrow. So, but that temperature drop is dropping off real quick. Slightly hungover. Well, morning. Sam's getting our uh, our brews up and running. Mark's still. Uh, oh, I don't know what Mark's <laughs> doing over there. For me, I yeah, gotta quickly come back in here, check the temperature. What is it? Minus, minus nine. Breakfast and pack some gears and make a plan. Oh, there we go. We'll uh, see you in six days, boy. Brothers all tooled up. Captain Q, are you over here? <laughs> He's gonna have. Uh, ooh, bro, shall we quickly do our rifle status for safety? Yeah, bro. What's your one, brother? All right, Bolton, Megan, but nothing in the chamber, so I'll just show you. Yeah. So clear chamber, yep. three in the mag. So hopefully, if so we do, if we do, yep. If we do see one on the way, uh, Mark will be able to tap it. Uh, the other brother, other Mark. Yeah, he's, uh, I've got. You guys gotta check this out. This is what you call a hearty, efficient Tatonka. What's that Tatonka, bro? 48, mate. 48. 48 Seven days of goodies in there. <laughs> Seven days of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the meat is good. Yeah. So it's on half past six. Uh, I believe the terrain's going to be like this. It's going to be about, guesstimate, worst case scenario, six hours of walking. So we'll have plenty of time to catch up and chew the fat. It's going to be a bit of a cracker of a day, I reckon. Uh, just a quick stop in, we're about oh, an hour and a half into our walk. 
and the, um, one of the Molesworths uh, homesteads Chip are used now for mustering so probably got another handful of hours to go so we'll keep plodding along keep you updated here yeah, well, we just um, parked up for a bit of a glass up spotted a couple of animals uh, way up there shit that's over a can and a half away not on our block but it was still good to see some animals and uh, just throwing some eyes around get dialed in on some deer but our block is yeah, I think they nicknamed it Mordor way the hell over there so we're just going to sort of cruise along get dialed in some deer and once we're on our block obviously we'll pick and choose if we uh, can take a meat animal if it's nice and handy if it's got antlers and we're shooting, it'll get the bullet. So, just a bit of a mission update. We stopped for a bite to eat. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's got eyes over there. He spotted us 15 deer. Uh, he scared the shit out of this fellow when he called uh, Cry Wolf on a stag. <laughs> Um, but they're, they're probably about, what, a K and a half? About a K and a half up in that basin. I was too slow to get the big camera out to film them, so we're just going to mosey on. We got camp one and about a couple of Ks. Two or three Ks for our first camp one we're thinking about, so we might set up camp and go back and come back and light and zap them just for our, our camp meet. So, yeah, so we're seeing a few animals. That's a definite bonus. Nah, not for those. You'll be So here we go, I'm gonna I've been sent up there to get a meat animal or a dirty big stag that no one can see, so plan is to the deer all up in that basin. In there. I'm gonna cut up here, sidle around and make my way up to the, the top of that. A uh, bit of snow sort of drift up there and try and get an uphill shot. I think it's going to be about 400 meters, so we're away. So it's about um, a kilometer to where the animals were or are from where we spotted them down there. Plan is to start to really ease up on the pace as I get closer so I can eat you around and try and be calm and collected for my shot easier said than done no way so we just made our way up always way down there on the flat there's that icy drift I'm just gonna get around there see if they just Sack to him, fucking man. Well, sorry I didn't film that because I kind of got winded and they all busted me and sort of all there. Yeah, they are there. But, uh, yeah, you know how it is. Twacked one. So, a oh, horrible shooting position. Fucking horrible. Just horrible, but they might. Uh, We've got some camp meat, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Rookie. Rookie! Right, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, Roger's just shot a uh, meat animal up in this basin here. He was on this little spur, and uh, there was about 10 of them. But uh, just while I was glassing there, I've picked up a couple more up in this basin here. A few more deer in there. Let's see. Three or four. Up in there. 
While Mark was filming those hinds, he also spied these bad boys. A couple of stags grouped up with some hinds. They could be on the target list. Oh, got our meeting. Here we go. That's where the boys were. Boys are way down there. Uh, kind of, I can't even point to it, but there's one of those little uh, conifer trees on that ridge there. Just shot to behind there. So. Oh, she's a big girl. Very big girl. Haunted by the ghost back of you. Over there. One more back leg to take off. And then we're. I'll just head straight back down here, meet up with the boys. Oh, there they are right there. So I'm going to get a move on. Whee. Back down from that little jaunt up there. Meat's on ice. I'll just go back and grab my pack now. I think the boys are bringing it, so. I'll pick it up and grab it off them. Whew. Yeah. Day one. On the board. Caught up with the boys again. Have a four case to our campsite. Stop for another glass up. Spotted another twenty odd deer miles up there on that um, ridge up there. All good dope. We'll uh, slowly get there. Oh well, we've made it, bro. We've made it. Whew. It's so cold here that every time I put a fresh GoPro battery in there, the bloody thing goes to zero. So I'll warm the batteries up tonight, but a uh, bit of a debrief for today. That was a real long walk in. Hey, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah long walk in. Um, taxing. Taxing. We had a few more river crossings. Actually, we had river crossings that we didn't know we had. So we got damp feet um, crossing those. Uh, Mark has just put cheating. <laughs> oh, he's, don't be like that. <laughs> Come on, Mark. He's got what are those, bro? They're my foot warmers. Foot warmers, chemical foot warmers. Um, which now I'm thinking about maybe I should have got, got me some of those Use too. Use some from your GoPro batteries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, bro, you got some in your boots, do we? Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, when I came down and hunted with Mark last year. It cost me a lot of money. I apologise to my wife. It cost me a lot of money. Um, just getting into the ultralight side of hunting, you have to in this environment because we covered some K's, man. Yeah, it was flat, but we covered some serious K's. Uh, Took the meat animal and covered some more K's. So, um, what's that? What are those pants? Those there are puffy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, puffy pants, yeah. Don't, not puff the pants, puffy pants. Hey, who's warm? Yeah, no, I know, I'm very jealous, I'm very jealous. But, um, pretty, pretty hearty, cold day one, to be fair, but, um, got the monkey off the back, got, got a deer. We would have seen, I won't tell you the numbers, but we saw a lot of deer today. A lot of them are really high, yeah. really high. On the snow line, eh? Yeah, on the snow line, so, tomorrow, it looks like we're gonna get snow tomorrow, or probably tonight. Which was, now, which was forecast for Friday. Friday yeah. But we've got it a bit early, which will good, be good because it'll get it out of the way and we can um, concentrate on hunting. But I, th I think one thing I've learned today, and, and it's been mentioned by other YouTubers, and shooting, shooting meat, shooting meat animals in this environment, and having to carry them is is like physically taxing me. It's just, impractical. It's just not practical, yeah. And, and I. Even though like we're, I'm a meat, hardcore meat hunter from the North Island, trying to do, have the same approach here in this environment is just not practical and it's not good for you physically, so. Um, Carry as much as you can physically yeah, possible. Yeah. But now I under, sort of understand, you know, the, these guys, these South Island boys, you know, they, when they go for a meat mission, they just, they whip off what they need, you know, you just, just not, it's too vast, man, you know, to, to take all that animal out, you know, plus you've got to do your bit for conservation, so. Well, yeah. Just look at the time frame today to get that meat animal. Yeah, we left the hut at what 6:30. Yeah, 
we put that meat animal down at two. Yeah. And then, you know, you, if you were to turn around and carry that back. No, it's just, just ridiculous, mate. But anyway, that's, um, yeah, they're always learning, always learning. And uh, Good day one. Uh, we'll wake up and see what the plan is for tomorrow morning. I think we're going to move camp. Yeah, we'll just shuffle up a bit. Yeah, we'll move probably camp. Probably have a cruisy day, rest the legs a little bit tomorrow. Yeah. And then we'll go hard the next day. Yeah. You got it. There it is. See you tomorrow. Well, day two. That was one cold ass night's sleep. Had a little bit of snow, but um, not as much as we thought we were going to get. So, but yeah, all the gear's just frozen. I had to sleep with all my electronics because all that stuff was getting frozen as well. So, um, bit of breakfast. Wait for the boys to get up. We're gonna have a bit of a recovery day. Head up to the bivy, set up, and maybe just go for a light hunt, and then plan for some big ones um, the next couple of days. So weather looking good. So I might have some porridge and a cup of tea. Kickstart my day. Wait for the boys to wake up. Well, what have we got here? I'm introducing these South Island boys to Indomay marinated backsteaks. They shall be enlightened in a couple of hours. Maybe lunch or maybe dinner. Yeah, so that's looking pretty gangster there. In the old plastic bag, that's one noodle mix for both those. The boys are a bit sensitive some so I've left the chili out. But um peanut butter king over there. Sam's over there cooking up some of the back steaks and bacon for a bit of a late breakfast. That's a light dusting we got last night. Um, yeah, a bit of a relaxed day. Uh, probably gonna have a bite to eat another coffee and then wander up to the bivy and maybe sneak off for a, a, a short little um, afternoon hunt see if we can't or recon at least yeah well that's us make our way up to the bivy it's about 11 o'clock but um it's looking good for a bit of an afternoon poke around try and get up there a couple of river crossings try and keep as dry as possible is the plan hey we're about, oh, about maybe 40 minutes up the upstream and we've um, spotted a few more deer uh, asleep only problem is um, they're way up there and we can't see any stags so sort of rock paper scissors who goes up there to take a rifle to recon it so. off you go Sammy good luck brother got busted boys bugger it was a hard effort to get up there though. Oh, so we bit of an update. Uh, Sad tonight. <laughs> uh, we just uh, gunned it up to the, um, looks like the musterous hut there. Those two boys uh, ended up, I'll show you. They kind of ended up across these tops. They were clearly chasing something and um, we spooked another two more hinds that were up that way and those boys actually, actually, they might have spooked them. And now we've just settled in to get a bit of a glass on on our block. Now, most of our block sort of extends sort of out that way, that way a bit. So, uh, cozy up here for the, um, for the afternoon. Make some big plans for tomorrow probably, but if something's handy and it's got due to big antlers this afternoon, some action. Okay. Heading out for just a quick evening shot up. Well, um, just got back from our uh, afternoon shot. We saw absolutely how many deer, boy? Big donut. <laughs> <laughs> Big <old>. donut. <laughs> but our uh, new plan tomorrow, we'll probably, Mark and I'll head up there and the, the boys are probably going to head up yonder up there somewhere and try their luck. Yeah. And that will uh, hook into the venison, marinated venison backsteaks for dinner. Right there. Well, morning. Just day three. Not a lot to report. We've seen a bit, a few deer, but either out of range or gassing it how we got a 
weather report last night on a Zim reach and it doesn't look too flash so we've got heavy snow real heavy snow above us where we're at the moment and um, what we're finding is the deer the deer are tucked up um, out of the snow sort of in the tusaki areas and um, and are moving you know they're pretty mobile so our plan today based on the weather report is going to the weather's going to turn to crap. Um, what's it now? I think it's Friday. Monday, Tuesday is supposed to be absolutely rotten. So I'm not supposed to fly out on Tuesday. So too much snow up here. So we might turn around and start to hunt our way back out of our block and maybe hit, chase those stags we saw earlier where I shot that hind. Something like that. We'll just um, take our time to give us a couple of days to walk out because it's a fairly hearty little hike into here. See how we get on. Mm. Yeah, we'll get up, have a catch up with the boys, and then verify the plan there, recheck the weather forecast. Yeah. Well, plan is we got one clear day to hunt, and we're going to use it. Howie and I are going to head to the top of here and get on the tops and pretty much hunt the top basin so it is bitterly cold this morning and I don't think the GoPro will last long so update you on the way so of course you know they're all rookie moose uh, weapon status since I've been coming up here, mine has been strapped to my pack, um, it really hasn't been off my pack. Uh, no mag, bolt in, no round up the chamber, the bro has been... Mine is, I've reloaded my mag, so I've got three in the mag, empty chamber, empty chamber, and uh, he carries his rifle just in case we um, hit one on the run anyway, so... On hand all times. Yeah, not my one, too big and goofy to bloody... Do that sort of stuff. We better an update. We've got a spiker. We have the on it. Prominent rocky feature is halfway down that um, spur. We're hoping that he's maybe paired up with another stag, so we're gonna hike all the way up there around the top and maybe get onto that ridge and see if we can see a bit more or bang onto that other prominent knob. Well, this is rookie hour. Completely ballsed up that piece of camera work. I missed how he shot. He reset on a second position. I wasn't actually ready. He let the shot off. And well, the rest is history. And there we go. Yeah, it's a cool, he's a good size spiker. This is his first deer for 2020. First red deer. Isn't that so, bro? Yeah. yeah. He's a very selective hunter, this fella. But, um, dead is a sizable animal. Oh, we'll get to butchering. Look at that for mushrooming, bro. Jesus. That's pretty good, eh? Yeah, bro. Here's the entry wound right here. That's the exit. Look product. at that. That's a good what's your what's the pill? Uh, Hornady's 165 ELDX. Seven. ELDX. That is just Deadly. that's what they're supposed to do. 100% yeah. what they're supposed to do. 
So after whipping the meat off the spiker, it was time for us to call it a day. So Howie and I wandered back to camp to catch up with the boys. What did you fellas get up to today? We went for a bit of a mission up there to see if we could find any stags, but just uh, another hind factory up there. Hind oh, factory? <laughs> Plen plenty of them, but yeah. You got a bit of a story about uh, uh, ninja ninja hinds, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> quite elusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they just had to drop on us a wee bit, bit yep. cleverer than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just vanish. They just they appear and vanish out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. You saw you guys saw no sex, eh? No, there was, there's one up there somewhere. We're tracking him up into there, yeah. but he's disappeared up in there. So our plan tonight is kick it back, and then we're going to leapfrog, yeah. leapfrog back, eh? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Just yep. slowly make our way out, hunt our way out. Yep. Maybe have a crack at those stags tomorrow. Maybe camp up close to where those stags, we've yep. looked at those stags. Yeah, I think so. Yep. We've got shit with this Monday, obviously. Yeah, mm. so uh, that's our plan. We're going to try and eat the shit out of our food stocks tonight. <laughs> eat all the heavy stuff. Uh, so we carry only back the light stuff and probably leave a few bits and pieces in here for the boys that come up here. A few uh, noodles and stuff like that. Not that that weighs a lot, but uh, <laughs> that's us. What is this? Day three? Day yeah. Three. Day three done. Day four. Uh, another very, very frosty, frosty, cold, cold sleep. All good though. And, um, just a bit of condensation building up on the bag from all the heat coming off yours truly. Plan we'll sort out with the boys today is to have a bit of a dry out day. Uh, tents, uh, you can see down here. All around me. The, um, the tents, yeah, pretty much frozen, so we don't want to carry wet gear back down to our next camp. So, plan is to try and get some sun rays this morning and dry some gear out, then make a move downstream, probably to where we saw the stags, and depending on what time it is, have a crack at them. Set up camp, obviously, so. But I'll confirm this all with the boys uh, when we have breakfast. So, day four, we're into it. Yeah, obviously, over the last couple of days, two of the boys uh, stayed in here. Old uh, Love Taco over there. Because his tent looks like a love taco, and Mark, because Mark got a little bit of a tweak knee. But um, normal hut protocols apply. We left with it uh, nice and clean. Obviously, this is a musterous hut. There's a bloody a lot of uh, history written on the inside of there. But um, that's pretty much us ready to rock and roll. We'll just do a weapon safety status check before we go off. Mr. Sads, status please. Righto, I've got nothing in the chamber, three in the mag, Yep. and safety's on. Safety's on, right. Ditto bro, uh, three in the mag, bolt in, uh, all safe. All safe, sweet ass. So he's our, um, how we will be carrying his rifle, just in case that uh, um, 20 pointer runs out in front of us, he zaps it. But uh, my, my weapon status is strapped to the side of Titonka, no mag, bolt in, no roundup chamber, mag and pack. Battle plan is, gentlemen, we're going to do what? Down the river. Down the river. Find a camp, find some stags, kill them. Easy, easy recipe. So, here we are. Four Ks uh, down the valley. Hunting our way back, seeing a few animals. Uh, decided to set up camp here. <clears throat> Just take you around and show you the setup. Got Captain Kuyu over here, sporting the deluxe accommodation for our trip. Jealousy's not a good look on you. <laughs> I'm getting used to it though. <laughs> Got uh, Mr. Hubba Bubba here. Show you my humble abode in here. SL bear, SL outdoors bags for galore. Set up, ready to go. And here's the love taco. Well, I'm oh, speechless, really. <laughs> speechless. But, um, and we're here over to Mark Sads's marmot. 
plan is now we'll get some ice on some pieces. So the old uh, weather's coming in a bit on the tops up there. Mark and I just try to throw some binos around and see if we can't spot some animals to chase tomorrow really. Um, boys have gone up the hill to have a look at uh, a couple of deer they saw. They thought they might have been stags but way up yonder, way up there. No deer spotted this afternoon. The temperature's dropped off something wicked though. But, um, just keep glassing until it gets too dark to glass. Morning. It is day uh, four or five. I'm not sure. I'll correct it down the bottom. And um, we're a fair ways sort of heading our way back down to the end of our block and hunting our way up. Um, listen. Yeah, that's rain. It's not snow, it's rain. So plan for us today um, how we check the weather forecast on is, um, is in reach last night and it's not looking flash for the next couple of days so the plan is to kind of hunt our way right out and try and get back to the Sledgemere um, dock hut uh, and sort of get ourselves squared away there today so that's about a shit 12k 12k height but you know on the way out if we see anything um, make a quick plan to get in and zap it if it's worthwhile zapping. So, yeah, the weather's pretty much uh, dictating what we're going to do for the rest of the trip. So, pretty much our loss, our last shot at the title today. Yeah, and not much moving coming from those other tents at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, I think I just heard a fart, but um. I might make a bit of breakfast. Rattle these boys up and ah, to get them about. Mm. Well, bloody hell, the weather took a turn for the worse with it closing right in. That completely changed our plans with a 11k route march back to Sledgemere ahead of us. And we're back home. Well, back to Sledgemere anyway. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's Monday morning. Yeah, we're not up the bush. We're actually back in, well, near enough Nelson. Pull pin on the trip. Weather came in and kind of like but he dealt to us. Uh, Clag down up in the hills. So myself and the boys, we pulled pin. And now this is the morning after the trip and we've just settled into the local Wakefield Bakery. Gorged out on pies and we're going to shut the trip off here. But I just want to talk about a couple of the learnings I had big thing for me down here was the vastness of the country once again uh, distance distance was massive like I thought deer were like just over there and they were actually like one to two k's away so um, uh, evaluating distance was massive for me uh, the terrain tussock snow that combination and hills and, and the temperature another good learning I think my gear kind of handled it a little bit well well enough anyway um, the socks, the deck shell waterproof socks were absolute godsend in terms of um, keeping my feet dry even though my boots were wet because I crossed the river following that prick over there. <laughs> and, um, but I, I, had a, I had a fantastic trip. Um, I was still processing a lot of my learnings. But I'll, um, I'll swing over to the lads and uh, ask them a couple of simple questions, their takeaways and any shout outs they want to do. Mr. Sads, brother. Um, I probably haven't got too many takeaways from the trip yep. because all this stuff's sort of known to me. Yep. So, um, yeah, the gear all, yeah, is sort of a known thing in the country. But um, probably just a bit of merino stuff would be uh, a bit more of it. Would yep. probably be something, um, yeah, I would have liked to have had on the trip. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why merino instead of synthetic, bro? Um, <laughs> it's well, mainly for me, it was the moisture moisture control while you're walking. Yeah. Yeah, and yep. just the, the layering I had happening. Um, yeah, that's that was the. The go and um, obviously after three or four days too, uh, odour control was sort of an, another he thing. He stunk like a bitch. It's another thing that's good to have, <laughs> yeah, under control. Yeah, yeah. Um, just one one question for you while you're on a roll, bro. Uh, what happened to your knee? <laughs> yeah. So. And how did uh, you fix it? Yeah. So um, 
while you were off doing your, your little shooting expedition there, I, I did a, a sort of a, a relay run to grab uh, Roggie's heavy pack that he carries, and um, yeah, wrenched my knee a wee bit, which um, yeah, progressively got worse and worse until Roger gave me these magic Chinese herbal patches that I don't know what's in them. Not marijuana. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, but I don't know what's in them, but they are magical. Mm. Yeah, honestly, they're a, they're a lifesaver, I think, out there. I think he woke up this morning and it was almost like he got a brand new knee. It was incredible, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll be definitely looking into getting oh, some awesome, of those. Bro. Awesome, yeah. Any, any shout-outs, bro? Um, <coughs> You yeah, probably just a shout out to hunting and fishing in Richmond. I yep. mean, they've been looking after us for a few years now, and um, all these things that we research that they don't have in the shop, they get in for us. Um, yeah, super helpful. You know, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, they're very friendly, very friendly. Yeah. All right, brother, thanks for that, Mr. Howie McDonald. Bro, takeaways from the trip and any shout outs? Takeaways? Now nah, I'm pretty much the same as Mark. I'm doing it a couple of years now, so not heaps of takeaways. Um, had everything fairly well dialed for that trip. Mm. I was pretty happy with it. Um, maybe just did a little bit more research, probably mm. into uh, like distances walked. Like yep. We covered some mad caves to get just to get to our block, which um, took its toll on everyone. I think. Yeah. Right, you know, so maybe that side of things. But um, no, apart from that, I was I was pretty dialed as you probably would have seen. You pretty happy with your Kiwi gear? Yeah, man. Yeah, yep. yeah. No, I mean it performs well. Yep. It does what it says. It mm. says it does, you know. So all that sort of thing. So any any thoughts, bro, on um, and probably for maybe even both of you guys, uh, if you want to chime in, um, said the um, absence of our stags. Yeah, I don't know what to. I don't know what to <laughs> say about that really. Um, one thing I thought. Um, I think we were both on the same page as well. Like as we came out and we saw that the Ute come yeah, out, yeah. I thought <laughs> any any old mature stag's not going to hang around the area yep. where guys can just drive up yep. like yep. that. Yep. So um, yeah, yeah, that, that rang true for me. I think. Your thoughts, bro? <clears throat> um, one thing me and Sam talked about last night, and I sort of haven't had a chance to sort of go and go into you guys, but um, just talking, Sam picked up on the fact that there was no cast antlers in that block. Yeah. And the yeah. last time we went into a block in there, the, the ground was littered with cast antlers wow. to the point where we had packs yep. strapped full of them um, to take home. Um, so that was a bit of a thing for us, you know, like they're coming yep. up on the time where they drop their antlers yep. in the next month or so. Yep. And um, they obviously don't do it there. So, ah. you know, that, that's maybe something <clears throat> to, to Ricky in the future. If you ever get an opportunity, you know, to get into a block like that before. Uh, are we are we saying we're blaming the fella that booked the ballot block? Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah. But, um, no, I mean, it is what it yep. is, eh? You yep. know, we still had a good time. Yeah. Seen plenty of animals and shame we didn't get to see a monster stag. Yeah. But, hey, yeah. makes you go back for more, doesn't it? That's right, bro. That's makes right. That's right. And, no, they're cool. Any shout outs, brother? <coughs> oh, no, I'm the same, man. Just, yep. just hunting and fishing, Richmond, Nelson, those, those guys, um, they look after us hard. Yeah, bro. So, yeah. yeah, huge shout out to Laura and the team in Richmond and Michael and all that in town. So, awesome, bro. Yeah. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> there it is. That's another Rogie's adventure down the South Island with a couple of hearty brothers. Sorry, little Sam O'Day couldn't be here, but uh, I think he's probably asleep or getting a little bit of love cuddles with Mumsy. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next mission.